Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited that you are here today for a different type of video than you are used to, but let me state the elephant in the room. I am in a different space. If you saw my last video of the pantry organization, I moved in with Cam, so there is quite a different background here. Um, he has a huge Hot Wheels collection, <laughs> and we are just in the process of kind of renovating his house. Anyway, let's get to the point of this video, which is definitely different than what I'm used to on my channel, but in my last loyalty order video, I asked you guys if you would be interested in seeing a top five Young Living products that I would not purchase again, and quite a few of you said that you did. So let's get right into that. Hopefully the lighting is okay in here because I'm right in front of a window, which I absolutely love, but I don't have my ring light on. I was like, let's try something a little different because it's like 12 o'clock, the lighting's pretty decent in here, I think, and we're just gonna stick to the natural views. The reason that I would not purchase these products again are gonna be totally different per person, obviously, and everybody's experiences, and some of them aren't even necessarily bad. It's just literally personal preference. There are two oils and three skincare products. So the first, very first product that I am going to share with you that I would not purchase from Young Living again is going to be controversial because I feel like so many people love this product and are obsessed with it. But let me tell you, I have had so many flavors of it and I cannot get into it. I just don't love it. And that is their chapstick. So I have the lavender chapstick here, and then I also have in my drawer, let me share with you, I have the lavender, I have grapefruit, because they usually come like around the holidays, they come in little packs. I have vanilla mint, and I have the citrus fresh. Ooh, look at that breeze, being a paid actor here. I love like the flavors of them, it's not that at all, and vanilla mint is absolutely my favorite. It's an amazing smell, and I wish that they would make it into an oil. Ooh, Young Living, that's a good idea. Maybe one day you'll do that. But I just feel like they don't work well with my lips, but it could also be me as well. I have severely, severely dry skin, and lately especially, I've been having to use literally Aquaphor on my lips, and that is all, because my lips are legit, like I kid you not, peeling. Like I reached out to my nurse friends and was like, what the heck is going on? So it could just be me, but I feel like these chapsticks literally just lay on my skin, like lay on my lips and they're not seeping in. And then I feel like they're just not really, you know, resolving the situation of chaps lips. But I know so many people are obsessed with it and swear by it and will only use this chapstick. So I don't know. Maybe it's, again, just me and personal preference and my severely dry lips, but I will not be purchasing these again. I'm not going to waste them. Like, I'll use what I have, and I keep, like, one in my car and one in my purse. And, like, I definitely keep them places to use them up. But I'm just not going to go out of my way to repurchase them because I just feel like they don't work well enough for me. The second skincare product is kind of like a love hate for me and again i absolutely love the smell but it's a texture thing i think so that's the young living vanilla mint pink himalayan sea salt scrub now i wanted a young living sea salt scrub or some sort of like sugar scrub for my body because i do like having one of these in the shower because again i have really dry skin so once in a while i like using these because i feel like it just you know like exfoliates your skin, makes you feel softer and just much better. So I like having one of these, but to be honest, this one, oh my gosh, love the smell. I do love the texture actually. I'm not gonna say that I don't. Like it feels like a normal sugar scrub texture. It, oh, like it really does smell amazing. You can see I use like most of it cause I'm not gonna waste it. Like I'll use it up at this point. But the reason I'm not gonna purchase this again is because when I shower, this, I think it's like the oils that are in it, they leave my shower like oily and slippery. Like it's a dangerous situation. If you are older, if you are clumsy, do not use this because like it literally leaves like a film on the bottom of your shower. And every time I get done using this, I have to like clean my shower. It's the weirdest thing. And again, I think it's just because of the oils in it. Like it's natural good oils. So it's not like a bad product, but that to me is like, almost not even worth it because I don't want to have to worry about like scrubbing my shower after I use a sugar scrub, especially cause like I hate cleaning my shower anyway. That's like one of my least favorite chores to do is like scrubbing a bathroom and shower. So 
Um, that alone is the reason why I won't use it. And then like, I do like the way that it makes my skin feel because it definitely exfoliates it. And because of those oils, it feels super, super moisturized. But I also feel like I'm slippery afterwards. So between myself being slippery and the shower, it is a messy situation. I don't want to deal with it. So I will not be repurchasing the Unliving Sugar Scrub again. The last skincare product that I will not purchase again is the Balance by Young Living Cleanser. And to be perfectly honest, I don't even know if you can like count this as something that I won't purchase again or like I'm not going to purchase it again, but I've never used it. So let me explain. I've already explained multiple times in this video that I have very dry skin. When this product first came out, it was when the Balance line first came out. And I was like super excited. It was a new line by Young Living. And whenever they come out with new products, like I always want to try them. So I grabbed a cleanser because I was in need of a face wash and a face cleanser. But I didn't realize that the balance line was more so for like targeted for oily skin or combination skin. And I don't even like, I probably will try it. But this is something that I probably will not consistently use. I may give it away. I'm not really sure. I was thinking about doing like a giveaway or something or even like reselling it to somebody, but I already opened it like because for the video that I opened it in, I don't remember what it was. You can probably go back in my videos and find it somewhere, but I did open it because I wanted to smell it and it does smell really, really good, but I just, I don't have oily skin and because my skin's so dry, I don't need anything at all drying it out more. So I'll probably like try it one time like when mine runs out but other than that like I'm not going to repurchase the balance line just because again it doesn't focus on my needs. The last two products are oils. Of course I had to incorporate some oils in here and I probably could have made a couple more but I really wanted to just stick to like the five oils. So the first one that I'll mention, I actually don't have it with me here, but I'll put like a picture of it right here. And it was a limited edition oil that came out um, during one of their, I don't know, things that they have. Like, I, I don't know why I can't think of the wording right now, but you guys know what I mean. Like they always have like random like things, events that come, that open up and they have these like limited edition oils. So it was, um, a, it was a form of oregano and I love the smell of oregano. It's uh, very like, kind of like a clean smell. And I obviously like love it like on pizza and stuff. But when I diffused this oil, oh my God, like I don't really want my house smelling like straight up oregano and that's what happened with it. And the reason for that is because oregano is a very good cleaning property. So like if you want your space and your aroma to be cleaned and like smell nice and purified then it is a very good oil to diffuse and if you have the oregano oil like you can diffuse it and it will air out your space essentially but i just don't really want my house to smell like oregano like i just cooked a giant pizza i don't know and like my mom i don't have it because i literally gave it to my mom and she loved it and she was like oh i'll totally use this so it's really just like a personal preference but for me when there's like stinky stuff in the air or when we cook and it smells i use purification i swear by that oil i love it and that just smells fresh and clean to me so i would rather reach for that than the oregano so that is one that i just will not be purchasing again the very last oil and product that I'm going to mention in this oil in this video is Roman chamomile and I'm really curious to see if anybody will disagree with me here and really likes this oil. I I just don't like the smell. Like I it's actually almost gone cuz I don't like I won't waste things. Like I'm not just going to get rid of it to get rid of it, but like I'll use it up, but I do not like the smell of this like at all. So I got Roman chamomile because I'm always looking for better and more sleep oils. Like I have lavender, peace and calming I'm obsessed with, dream catcher I'm obsessed with. But for some reason I feel like the sleepy time oils are a little bit pricier. So I just don't go through and try more or I don't go through them as much. So this was a little guy. I wanted to try it because I would love to try like I think there's a regular chamomile that I want to try as well. But I just stuck with the um, Roman chamomile. I wanted to give this a go and I do feel like it helps with sleep, but like I just don't really like the smell of it. And like if you do have it or if you do get it, 
I would say just start with literally like maybe two drops and that's it. Like it is very strong, the scent. So you don't want it to be too overpowering, especially if you're trying to sleep. And I feel like that's what happens a lot is I'm so used to dropping in my diffuser like five or more drops of oil and like which I really don't need to do, but I'm just so used to doing that because I love like the strong smells of oils. But this one is just like, oh my gosh, it's so overpowering and I'm just really not a fan of the smell. So I have so many other sleepy time oils that I prefer. So I will not be purchasing Roman chamomile again. I hope you guys liked this video and found it a little bit informative. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it because it was definitely different. I'm always doing unboxings of my loyalty order and products that I like. So this was actually kind of fun for me to do. So let me know your thoughts down below. Do you like these products? Do you not like these products? I'm really curious to see your thoughts on if you're even willing to try any of these products now. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.